Check it, check, 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 mic, check, mic, check. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, troops, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the channel, Mark. That's me, my words, where we follow trading, traveling, and training. As always, before you get into this very quick video, please continue to hit that subscribe button down there. And if you do enjoy the content, give me a thumbs up. Here we are, troops, Monday, the 28th of February, 2022, pre-market, uh, been open about an hour and a half. Quick look back on what happened with AMC and GME last Friday before we look at some news going into this week. So AMC first closing down just two cents, less than uh, one quarter of a percent there on Friday at $17.66 on the share. All in all troops, a pretty strong day given that there's still, you know, the the uh, situation in Ukraine and Russia, which is, you know, escalated into a, a full-scale uh, invasion, it looks like. So, you know, actually quite pleased. Thursday was a great day, obviously. We had a great day on Thursday. Um, and, you know, some consolidation. We maintained that. We closed ever so slightly down, like I said. Um, just hovering on that. Uh, level of support and resistance there would like to see us push through that this week let's see if we can similar story on gme an absolutely fantastic day on thursday uh slight pullback as i did mention last week uh on friday uh finished down six dollars 4.82 percent on the day 118 dollars 58 cents on the share but still in that 110 to 130 channel quite comfortably um, and again, I would expect us to stay in that kind of region. A um, little bit of news out of uh, the Russia-Ukraine thing today is that the ruble has continued to crash. At one point, it was down 30%. The uh, Central Bank of Moscow has increased interest rates to a whopping 20%, uh, up from 9.5%. Uh, but there's a run on the banks over there at the moment as well. People trying to get their money out. There's all sorts of uh, financial um, pullouts going a lot going on. Uh, football teams are with you know cancelling sponsorship deals. BP have cancelled or selling their position in Rosneft. Their twenty percent stake in Rosneft. Um, you know, there's all these stuff. All this stuff going on. Troops. It is. It is having an impact. Pre market. See the spy is down. Uh, one and three quarter percent of uh, down at 4.30 uh, before we start trading after a couple of days. Really good recovery there. So let's see how that affects the market uh, open. Uh, I'm not going to um, go into it, you know, predictions and this that and the other. We've seen that it'll do its own thing. And will the Russia thing help us or hinder us? Who knows? It all waits to be seen. There's the spy chart that I was just talking about then. Uh, AMC, big day tomorrow. We are going into um, earnings uh, tomorrow. So let's see what we get for fourth quarter and year end. Really excited about that. As always, do expect a few shenanigans as we go into uh, earnings for AMC and GME. They do, t they do seem to like to attack it no matter what the news good bad or indifferent. So just bear that in mind going into tomorrow troops. We will check back in on Friday and see how that affected the price action as we will. Uh, we'll monitor it throughout the week. Uh, but that's all I've got for you. I do wish you a very good trading week. Um, wherever you are in the world, do take care of yourselves and each other. I'll be back on Friday to give you a weekly wrap up and I'll see you then. Cheers troops.